Hello and welcome back to the Enhanced FPS Creation Template Kit and we're going to go over today the loading and saving stuff that is already part of the kit for you already present, saves all of your values, everything you need and you can load them in again so what we've got here is the, the main menu now obviously you customise this to your liking but if we go into the load game section it'll bring us up another sub menu with three load slots in it. Now you'll see that it says no previous save data and if we try and click it, it will also tell us that no previous save game data has been found. And these are all customizable um, widgets and text widgets. So if you want to move that around to other parts of the screen, change it, it's all all done for you. You can just go in there and edit the, the one HUD element and then everything else gets fed into it automatically. Now, these slots, as I say, they say no previous save data. So if we cancel out of them and go into a new game, we're now in the, the first level of the game, which in this case is the example map. So if we uh, hit escape and bring up the the save menu, actually, let's um, look at the floor so we can make that a little bit more obvious. There we go. So we've got uh, quite a few options. We can go back to the title menu, settings, etc. But we want to save game. Now, again, it will say save game to slot one, no previous save data. But if we populate this slot, it will say creating save data. And now if we go back into save game, you'll now see that our save has been timestamped with the date and time, which I think is pretty epic. So let's do that again. And there you go. You can see it's been timestamped with the date and time right down to the second. So if we now come out of the game, uh, we can go back to the title menu. And now in our load game section, we've got two slots that are also populated with those timestamps. We can load from that slot, it'll put us back where we were with the relevant amount of ammo and things. So if we just fire off a few rounds and go through this, and then we'll save that to slot two. There we go. Now we'll go back to the title menu. Now if we load slot one, we're back in the... Um, where we where our previous save was but if we load slot two it'll put us in our back in but now you can see our health is depleted and so are the amount of rounds that we fired off so you can use this to create multiple save slots that are already pre-programmed in there for you so again if we just go into the save game you'll see they're all time stamped and it saves all your relevant data and if we exit the game entirely and we reload and go to load game, you'll see that those timestamped slots are there for you. So what exactly is being saved? Well, if we jump into the um, the core and then go to saving and loading, we can load up the uh, save game object and you will see all of the variables that are being saved automatically for you. So all of these things, the player's health, the movement speed, the stamina, the weapons they own, the amount of grenades, mines, whether they've got a key or anything like that, is all being saved automatically for you. There's no need to do that at all. It's all just done there immediately for you. So it is that simple, really. I mean, it, the save system is already there. I mean, there's nothing you really need to do other than customize the HUDs if you want to. So if you go into the menus, you've got the save HUD where we've got our text and our buttons and you could just move these around, change their anchor points to your heart's content. It's up to you. So if we just uh, undo that, there we go, put it back to where it was. So what we could do is we could grab these and we could move them across a little, grab that one. Move that across a little, and then you get a nice little staggered image. It's a, like that. Uh, this is not what I'm here to do for you. I've set up all the code um, preemptively, and you guys can customize what this as however you like. And the beauty of it is, it will all just simply work. So yeah, there we go. The load and save system. I don't really know have anything more to say about it than that other than the settings will get saved as well so if we turn these all to high and then click save and return no user data settings so it created one so now if we exit the game and reload and go to settings you'll notice that it's remembered all of the settings anyway that's about it so i hope you like and uh, subscribe 
and I'm going to go ahead, save those, exit the game, and I'll see you next time.